Things have been kind of like a roller coaster ride here lately. A little up, a little down, uh, but all balancing out in the end. What do I mean by that? Pull the intro and then we'll talk about it. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to FM21. This is episode 44 of our single team climbing the ladder save with the Groff Shop. And as you can see, we're in 10th position, 21 points from 16 matches. It just hasn't been, uh, it's been a slog. I mean, it's been a slog. Last episode, uh, we had the big 5 2 win over Catwick in the Dutch Cup opening round. We beat Utrecht 4-1, a hat trick from Anton Kernjik, and Eugene Resnick added a goal. Then we beat, uh, or we lost to FC 22-0, and we beat Almir City 3-0. Vicario finally getting on the score sheet, and Kernjik with two goals in a one-minute span. Uh, he has been our dominant force. Vicario has really not looked himself this year. A 2-1 loss to Den Haag. Then a 2-0 win over Benlo sent them into the relegation places. Resnick with another goal from his wing spot. Meyer in midfield with a goal. And we just lost to Heronveen, which sent them back top of the table. They scored in the first minute. We played actually pretty well, but we were dominated statistically and probably deserved to lose the game. Uh, we are going to... Uh, give highlights from Willem 2 in just a moment, and then we play PSV Eindhoven in the second round of the Dutch Cup, taking a quick look at the squad and how they are doing. 14 goals for Kernjik, 5 goals for Resnick from the wing, Gerber 4, Casella 4 from those backline positions, and Vicario only 4 goals from 14 and below his XG, which we have not experienced with him before i actually have benched him in favor of another player uh the last couple of matches if we take a look at the tactics uh we've moved resnick up there and geert tielman's getting some playing time on the right wing so that's what's going on there bed center gerber pulled his thigh he's going to be out for uh, about two weeks uh, Okachi, our right back, is out for one more day, and Nateb is out for a day. He could have started now that Okachi is injured, but he misses his opportunity. Uh, Nateb, of course, longtime starter for us, but he has been wanting uh, to leave and talking about leaving, uh, wanting to go out on loan with a uh, possible permanent move to uh, get more playing time. We've loan listed him. Nobody's come in. And for our striker, Kernjik, we have just, he was signed through 58, so he's got two more years. At a $775,000 release clause, I'm sorry, seven, $7,750,000, yeah, just over his valuation. So we've just offered him a new deal. A little bit of a raise, I think, from 33.5 to about 41. So it'll be a nice little pay raise for him. But we get a release clause in the 10.5 million range. So, you know, trying to make sure that we maximize him if we can. I tried to get rid of it, but his agent wouldn't have it. So that's the issue there. Let me get the Villa match played. We'll come back right now for highlights, and then we'll get into today's match. We look like we had this one in hand. You'll notice Samir playing for Gerber. He only had a 6.3. There is a big reason for that, uh, which I don't know if they'll show that here in the highlights, but we will take a look at it. Uh, good little pass back by Reguin and puts it into the net, sends us into a 1-0 hole. A little bit later on, Kaisela. Little flick on header from Vicario. Kernjik puts it into the net for the equalizer. But they do get another opportunity in the 68th minute. The flick on 
and Geiger gets it past Delcroix, and we end up in a 2-1 hole. That would be the final, but you can see Samir starting at center back missed a penalty, so that, uh, that's bad, and we've lost three of our last five home matches. Marcelia makes his debut in that one, and Jegu was sent off with a second yellow. I want to make sure. So he got mad that I find him, which is part of the code of conduct. That doesn't typically happen, but so be it. Another thing that's been going on recently is I've had players complaining about their playing time and wanting to start matches, and I've been using the... I forget if it's a negative, but it's on the right-hand side of the screen. So it's over on this side when you're looking at the list of options. And it's, you know, like if they're a, a regular starter and they're, you know, they're saying, we're not, I'm not playing enough. You say, I think it's in your best interest to be, get used to being a squad player. And I've done that like three times just in the last couple of weeks here. And all the players have, oh, that makes sense, boss. Yeah, I'm good with that. So that was interesting. All right, well, that does not help us any. Keeps us in 10th position. Sparta has caught up with us. Uh, eight losses in 17 matches. We're struggling this year. Struggling. All right, well, let me get up to the PSB match, and we will have that kick off in just a second. All right, we're going to go with Delcroix in goal. Barisic on the left. Samir Kaisela teaming up in the mid. And Okachi on the right, Laval. Is that who I want? They are very tired here. It's only been two days between matches. So Laval and Olivier will be in the mid, so a new partnership there, an old old new partnership. Zervenka on the left, Aaron on the right wing, and Kernjik and Bakario up top. We do have one player less on the bench, not a huge issue. Just due to overall fitness, I probably could have brought somebody from our B club or whatever. But I don't think that's going to make a big difference. All right, we start off building from the back. There's Olivier. Good ball up to Barisic. Trevenka into the box. Barisic looking for an opening here. And he loses it. Taken away by Laval. He takes a step and then blinks it right off the upright. Unlucky. A nice step in by him. Should have found the goal. Kaisela gets the header off the set piece. Just trickles over the line and inside the post for our first goal of the match. Second minute. And we are up 1-0. Isella, he is going to be uh, our number two scorer with that goal, I believe. Or he's going to be right up there. I think that gives him five now. Only been a couple of minutes. Sixth minute of the match. Defense is closing down. Oh, there's a deep ball into Vega. Crossed over. Good defense, clears it out, buys us a little bit of time. Oh, and I think Kaisela is going to be sent off here with his second yellow. Yep. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, drop Kernjik here. Aaron. I'm going to drop him back for Olivier, who's on a yellow. Olivier will come back to here. Then we'll bring the Teb into the center. We're gonna take off, get stuck in. And I'm gonna drop this. It won't it wasn't gonna let me do it. Alright, we'll drop that to balanced. All right, Vicario on the ball. Oh, well, he cut it inside, and then that one was blasted out into the stands. 
That's up a corner. Another header opportunity, but nobody's there. I want to go very defensive. Drop that, didn't we? Ascending off in the 12th minute. Ouch. By our better center back. That's the worst part. <laughs> All right, good clearance. Vicario's on to it. Oh, he loses it. That was cheap. Oh boy. Uh, Delcroix makes the play. All right, let's just get in it to the locker room here. Oh, Kernjik gets stabbed away from him. Delcroix with the save up into the stands. That's going to give away the set piece. These are dangerous. Come on, boys. Back post and possible foul. No, Barisic was shoved. So that goes to us, and we are holding on to that slim one nothing lead. We're going to pump the fist. All right, I want to pop in here real quick. All right, we're going to drop back standard and lower. Let's condense that a little. Just compress our lines. Give us a little bit more ability to be in close proximity. That was not good. <laughs> not what I wanted to say, but trying to be trying to be rated P. Oh, there it is, Vicaria. Oh, Last season, he would have put that one home. I have no doubt. I hate to say it, but Vicario might be in his last season. A good tackle by Kernjik. Knocks it out of play. Got a couple. Vink is really struggling. All right, let's then sub him off. Already made another sub. With the sending off, we had to replace our center back. So that was our first sub. Come on, Vicario. Better than that. All right, come on, boys. You can see we are pretty deep now. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, good save by Delcroix. What are the odds it bounced through three people and ends up with one of the attackers that's open at the back post? He whiz. Oh, and Delcroix gets beaten by De Bruyne at the near post. And that's the equalizer. I demand more. That was cheap. That was cheap. Oh, goodness. That was just rotten by rooting. All right, they are they are starting to really control the ball. I'm really surprised we were able to hold on that long. Being a man down, just getting sent off that early is such a backbreaker. Oh, off the woodwork, and Barisic, come on. We've got tight marking on. Barisic caught completely out of position. I mean, that was a lucky break possibly, but then De Bruyne, a free run. Let's move the fullbacks to support. Make him a defender. I'm going to make him an inside forward on attack. Just trying to get another, you know, get another player into the box.
All right now he's tired. He's playing well though. Injured? What? What's his injury? No idea. I can't risk him getting hurt though. Uh, let's bring Tealman's on up there. Come on. Wallenstein. Ugh, that was a poor effort. Come on, dude. Now Aaron is knackered. All right, we're going to have to go up to attacking. All right, stabbed away. Cleared, but nobody's out there. Gonna need a counter opportunity here pretty quickly, or they're gonna put one into the net. Yep, there you go. All right, Bart Rutten again with an assist. And this is gonna take us out of the Dutch Cup. Three to one. Not a whole lot. I've got to pick that up. <laughs> my cats are still uh, trying to figure out what the deal is with my moved desk and me sitting in a new position and everything else. And I haven't, oh, taken down in the box. Samir steps up. Now he missed a penalty that would have equalized last match. And this one is saved. I, I don't think he needs to be taking penalties anymore. I don't pick the penalty takers, but I may have to may have to make a executive decision on him. Just out of curiosity. He's got a nine. That's not horrible. Not horrible. But that is a disappointing loss. We finish a man down most of the match. I sell a sent off in the eleven in the twelfth minute. Uh, I'm going to point my finger. We'll try to motivate them and keep their spirits up. No sense tearing into them right there. Defeat in the second round. Kaisela suspended for one match. You're going to find a weak salary. Uh, whatever. Whatever. What's the deal with the uh, code of conduct? Because for some reason it's not carrying over from season to season. I don't know what the deal Drone again fires their coach. Now, let's see. We were expected to reach the third round. So that's going to actually be, I mean, normally that's an automatic reduction to 45% by getting knocked out early. Being that it's Eindhoven, they're top of the league. I mean, you know, that shouldn't have been a surprise. Bad draw for us. Maybe that's why it hasn't gone down. If so, that might be a new thing. All right, well, nothing we can do there. Concentrating on the league now. Let's get a good run of games. We have the friendly against Will coming up. Let's come back for highlights. Um, tell you what, let's do AZ highlights, and then we'll open up with Utrecht. Uh, that'll be after the transfer window, so we can catch up on transfers in that episode. So that'll be our next episode on Wednesday. I believe you guys are seeing on monday so uh, hit that like button for me subscribe if you're new and don't forget hit that notification bell daily football manager content monday through saturday here on the channel thank you so much guys have a good one bye